Hi there, I uh, just wanted to uh, give a little overview of the very uh, coarse uh, test rig that I use to measure um, what kind of deflection we might expect from the robot dig and high wind uh, MGN9 uh, linear guides. So what I did was I um, drilled a couple of holes and bolted a piece of aluminium flat to um, be my lever so I would load the carriage that way and then that way pushing against uh, in the direction of the fingers to um, to provide a moment on the rail and the carriage and uh, I wanted to measure the deflection so to make sure that it wasn't just the uh, aluminium flat that was moving I um, attached my laser pointer to the other two um, mounting points on the carriage and then I mounted this vertically against a bolt that was proud from the usual mounting holes um, and then rotated it um, loaded it once with the laser mounted um, angled it down at the carpet um, clamped to the door frame and then looked at the distance along the carpet um, on a ruler that the laser spot travelled uh, so it was at an angle so we didn't get the uh, a round kind of laser spot um, that you might get in a little red dot like that it was angled down so it was very much elongated and stretched out and I'll show you some video of that and the um, uh, the photos of the rig as well. The height of the laser um, of the floor was about um, 30 centimeters and the distance from the uh, laser to the um, the ruler where it, it, it hit uh, was about four meters. So in conclusion, uh, it was a pretty rough and ready test and obviously not everything was the same between each, um, each setup. For example, um, this, this rail was um, shorter um, than this one. The bolts weren't exactly the same distance apart and to be honest it was just a, a course test um, that I wanted to try. So um, the, uh, the test is also not absolute, um, it's relative. Um, I was pretty pleased with both of them, they, they hardly move at all. Um, and um, given how easily the high wind um, is prepared to move up and down with a minimum of friction, um, I, I, was, I was pretty impressed that it appears to have um, less deflection when you uh, uh, apply a, um, a moment in the horizontal plane as we look at it now. So um, I'll, um, I'll not be doing um, another test like that. Uh, I think I'm going to try and um, incorporate them into a printer design and we can, uh, we can see what kind of quality prints come out of these two kinds of rails. But for now, um, my original aim of working out whether the, uh, the robot dig rails were um, good enough to justify um, the fraction of their price compared to the high wind ones or whether the high wind ones were worth splurging out the extra for um, I'm happy with both um, and I'll probably look to get some um, robot dig ones for the Z-axis now